Good afternoon once again from the World Government Summit in Dubai. Very pleased to welcome Mr. Eric Arison, uh, Chief Product Officer of Joby Aviation. Thank you very much. As you know, Dubai announced in 2017 uh, that they are keen to launch the first aerial taxi. We are in 2024. Uh, today, uh, Dubai RTA has announced a very fixed date by 2025-2026 for the first operational taxi and you are handling this project. Would you please tell us more? Sure, yeah, we were really excited uh, yesterday to, or two days ago now, to uh, to announce that we are, have signed a definitive agreement with the RTA to bring aerial taxis here to Dubai. So at Joby, we've been around uh, for a few years. We've been working on this project since 2009, um, developing this technology, and we've been hard at work uh, Making this 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 technology of this type of aircraft uh, ready for for commercialization, yeah. so we can actually start flying people around in aerial taxis as soon as late twenty five. Yeah, uh, certification plays a key role. As you know, uh, UAE has very very safe airlines, Emirates airline, uh, Etihad, and safety is something paramount because it affects the reputation. All right, what about certification? Yeah, so we were excited as part of this agreement to work with RTA and with the GCAA uh, to develop a pathway to certification for both the aircraft, the pilots, as well as the operating rules um, that's, that's, uh, that is very clear and that will support the timeline that we've laid out. It builds on the work that we're doing with the FAA um, and it adds some of the, the, the critical things that GCA can bring to the table to, to accelerate things even further and bring us to, uh, to ready to launch commercial service in late 25, early 26. Uh, so you seem positive uh, that you will get certification from the FAA in two years' time? So we are continuing to work with the FAA but uh, our work with the GCAA will proceed in parallel with that. All right. Uh, what about training uh, for the pilots? We're working with GCA and as well as with RTA on the uh, the details of those training pathways. We actually at, at Joby in California, we've developed a pilot training curriculum and we actually are starting to train pilots in our own pilot training school. So we'll take what we're learning there, mm -hmm. the materials that we've developed, and then we'll deploy that here in Dubai as we train up the pilots for the service. Yeah. Uh, safety again is uh, paramount. What are the safety features and the commitments from your company? So this aircraft has six propellers uh, that can tilt up and, and point up like a helicopter and then tilt forward like an airplane. So what this does is gives us redundancy in the powertrain that is not possible with conventional technology like helicopters. So each of these propellers is actually powered by a motor that's two different motors combined together. They're independent. Each of those independent motors are powered by different independent electronics. And that's all powered by independent batteries. So there's layers of redundancy built into this that actually offers a, a type of uh, architectural features that will lead, we think, to operational safety that is not possible with today's technology. Yeah, uh, it uh, basically carries four or three passengers plus so, the pilot. So four passengers plus a pilot is the is the uh, the, the target for it. 160 kilometers. 160 kilometers max range. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.